Hello and welcome. This is It's Always About Love, and I am Lee Evans. I'm here with psychotherapist Lynn Lara. Lynn has been in private practice for many years, and today she brings all of that experience and wisdom to help you. We are here to offer answers to all your relationship questions, whatever your question may be on any relationship topic. We are here to offer compassion and understanding. It's truly Lynn's desire to help you and make what you learn on this podcast usable in your life. Do you have something troubling you? Send an email to it's always about love, the number one at gmail.com. That's it's I T S always about love, the number one at gmail.com. Now, let's get started. Are you there, Lynn? I'm right here, Lee. <laughs> Hi, how are you, Lee? It was the weekend. I know. I was busy doing yard work, so I was pretty wiped out. <laughs> that sounds awful. <laughs> it was. It was awful. Especially out in the heat for crying yes. out loud. You yes. poor baby, honey. I know. <laughs> it's too hot. Too uh-huh, hot to it is. Outside. It is. Listen, I have something I want to talk about. And um, a lot of the people that that are listening to us are alone. Um, and we have North Korea, Korea. Um, and I, I want to not be quiet about it. I want to bring it out in the open and say a lot of you are feeling frightened about what might happen to us to any of us, um, and I want I want you to get a plan on ways that you can take care of yourself right now, because even if it ends up that there isn't a thing you can do, and that may be so, you will still have acted and tried to do what you can. Okay, does that make sense, Lee? You want us to be proactive. All right. <laughs> That's good. And a lot of you have been rejected by one of your adult children. And that means that you may not have anyone who's younger and there to take care of you. So I care about you. And Lee cares about you. And I have a few things that I want you to consider doing. Um, First of all, I want you to be willing to talk about your fear. If you're feeling frightened by what's happening, I want you to say it out loud. You can write to us, but say it to your neighbors, say it to your friends. Don't hold it in. There's nothing to be ashamed about. There isn't one person who hasn't heard about what North Korea is doing right now that isn't concerned about it. And if you... Pretend like you're not frightened, then you won't do anything to take care of yourself. You know, we may be extremely um, unable to take care of ourselves in something like this, but acting and doing, back like back in the 50s, uh, where Lee and I come from, although I'm in the 50s before you, Lee, um, <laughs> that means... I'm older than Lee is. For those of you who may not be aware of that, and I'm not going to say a swear word right now. I'm not. I'm not. But when Lee and I were growing up, I remember we used to have drills where we'd all get underneath our desks. And I don't know that getting underneath a little desk that would have collapsed easily is the answer. I think probably being in the doorway... um, where door jams are, door jams are, might have been better. But who knows? The thing is, I want you to be willing to talk about it. Talk about it with your neighbors. See if you can't all get together and start something. Number one, you need to save food. Canned food? Yeah, what other kinds of food, Lee? Canned food's a really good thing because, and then make sure to have a can opener or have ah, that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. You, you no can to... opener. Okay, you're right. Yes. 
And it can't be electric. You need a hand one. Yay, Lee, listen to you. Yeah. And what else? And if you're a person like me, you want plenty of toilet paper. So I tell everybody, start stocking up on toilet paper. I'm not going to ask you why, Lee. I don't want to know. Well, <laughs> it's just one of those commodities that I think people don't want to do without. <laughs> okay. Well, you just got me, Lee. That was a surprise. <laughs> and water. Wow. However you can store water, start storing water. Great, Lee. And how do you store water that you're going to start storing now? Well, because we have hurricanes, we have to have water in reserve. Okay. So what do you what do you that. store your water in? Uh, I have to do it in gallon jugs because I can't haul or carry anything five gallons or more anymore. Okay. So it has, so, I have to store gallon jugs. Okay. Are they plastic or glass? Well, glass is a little bit too heavy, so I mine have to be plastic. But you okay. could do glass. Okay. You're too, but but you know that's more fragile, and uh-huh. uh, you have to be careful how you do. Or they're heavy, so I you know. Whatever's more practical, but it will last longer in glass, I believe, than plastic. Okay. And canned food? Canned food. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. MREs. MREs are a good thing to have on hand, and you can get those at an Army surplus store. What's an MRE? Military. In fact, I was in a hurricane, and I have hypoglycemia really bad, and we were being put in lines... So that they could help us. Mm-hmm. They were FEMA lines. And the military was there because it, they were giving backup. And there was thousands of people. So we were standing in long lines trying to get assistance. Uh, f- they were trying to give away food cards to people so that they could get food because mm-hmm. nobody had any food. And envision New Orleans and what happened in New Orleans. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And so we're all standing in lines, and I'm halfway down a line, and I can't remember how many lines there were, but like I said, there was thousands of people there. And all of a sudden, I start getting to where I'm going to pass out, and it's because I'm starving. I'm I'm hungry, and I have to have food because I'm hypoglycemic, and this is the point I'm bringing up. I went to the military, and they fed me MREs, and that's how I made it through. If they if they hadn't have been there and hadn't had those, I don't know what would happen to me. And if, so, if you're a diabetic or if you have any type of medical condition, try to stock up if it's possible. Be prepared okay. for whatever that condition may be. Listen, this is what I want you all to do. If you're alone, I want you not to be alone. I want you to reach out to other people, to your neighbors, even if you don't know them. Start a group, and all of you make an arrangement to meet with one another and uh, take care of one another. Have a place where you keep your food in one one person's home or, oh, you know, a lot of you are going to be making things down in your basements a lot of you have basements. That's where you'll be having your um, uh, your shelter. That's what I want to say, your shelter. And you may not be doing any good, but it doesn't matter. At least you're doing something. Everyone is frightened by what's happening right now. I want you to take care of yourself. You don't have to be alone, and you can be the person who starts all of this in your area, and a group of 10 or 15 of you. Um, What would it be like to uh, save a large bag of flour? Does that help at all, Lee? Commodities like that. Well, if you like sugar, I guess if (laughs) you might want sugar. Okay. But it draws Mm -hmm. ants. Um. no, sugar with the, without water wouldn't dry out, would it? I don't know. It doesn't well, matter. I don't know. Where we're at, in, weird things in, draw weird things. But you might want to uh, seal your food. 
food commodities like that that you're saving, mm-hmm. you have to think about what you can actually do with it. Because a lot of things you need water to be able, and how much water are you going to have? So you really have to be practical in your thinking. Some things are going to be beneficial. Some things are not going to be so beneficial. It's okay. It's okay if if you're not doing it perfectly. I want you to take care of yourself and do something as we're going through this rather than watching the news and being frightened. Lee said it, proactive. Become proactive about what you're doing. And don't do it by yourself. Reach out to people that you don't know yet and uh, take care of each other. You've got to do that right now. You oh, I just came to. up with another idea. Jerky. Please. Get jerky. Okay. Stock up on jerky because that's a protein source. Mm-hmm. It is. It's and it soft. stores and it's flat. Uh-huh. Good idea. It stores for a long time. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the practical things that thinking ahead, what are, what can you store? What's going to keep in different weather conditions? Lee, will you yes, do yes. this? Will you do this? Yes, I will. <laughs> Put your right hand up and say, I swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I worry about Lee because she's, she's way far away from me. Okay, so so Lee's agreed. I agree that I'll be doing it. And and uh, what I want each one of you to do is become the person who started it. Because people get embarrassed and they think, now nah, I don't want anybody to know that I'm worried. But trust me, everyone is worried about what's going to happen. And our worry is only going to get worse. So do something rather than being secretly worried. I want all of you to start a group. And uh, maybe you can meet once a week and put all of your food in one area. Uh, Maybe one of you will have a basement. You know, I don't know how you're going to have a place where you're safe, but... Come up with ideas. You'll be reading more and more about it in newspapers and magazines. And begin this. Start it. Become proactive. Don't become a victim. Yay. Good. I feel better. Okay. I'm worried about everybody. I thought, you know, how many people are out there, thousands and thousands right now, who are really frightened by what's happening? So... I want you all to take care of yourself. And I wish that Lee lived here so that she wouldn't be so far away. The other thing is that it's also a time for those of you who have an adult child who has rejected you. Ah, That'll become painful for you. Although, who knows, you and your child may come back together again when, when they're frightened as well and they need you. So we don't know what the future is going to bring, but in spite of it, if you are a parent who's being rejected by your family, it's okay. It's not okay. Just it's okay for you to take care of yourself and to begin a group and do something that will be good for you. Okay, Lee, what a surprising, oh, what a surprising subject today, don't you think? Yes, it is surprising. I wrote down jerky. <laughs> jerky. Lots Lisa of jerky. jerky. I'll think about you, Lee, when I buy some jerky at the store. We have here, I live uh, close to the path of the uh, eclipse, and so we've got a ton of people that are going to be coming to this little tiny area. Um, um, unbelievable. They're saying 100,000 people or a million people. I mean, it, the stories go on and on. However, it's also good to be aware of what can happen and to do something to take care of yourself. Nobody here is going to leave their homes because it just doesn't make sense to do that. All you'll do is be driving 
five miles an hour, two miles an hour out on the highway. doesn't make any sense to do that at all. But what people are going to be doing is stocking up ahead of the four or five days that will be inundated with people here. And uh, so it's good practice for everyone. I want you all to take care of yourselves. I want you to write to us and tell us how you're doing. Give us good ideas that you have. We'll take care of each other here on our podcast and uh, soon to be our video, video and podcast. So, but we care about you all. We care about you. We don't want you to sit and feel frightened. Do something. Become proactive. I'll think of you every time I say that word, Lee. And I think it's about time for us to quit. What do you think? Yes, it is. This is the end of the month, and we are now on Podcast 38. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> it's always about love has come a long ways. <laughs> it has. And we do care, yes. Oh, Lee, and listen, I've worried. I No, no, no. I've worked. I didn't worry. i worked. I have the most beautiful little area. I have a lot of different areas. One is an area where we remember our men and women in the service. One is my office. One is, uh, oh, that's what I've been working on. It's so colorful. I had a hot pink chair. It's beautiful. It's all velvet. It's very pretty. And I made... I, I decorate it all around it. That's what I spent my weekend doing. It's beautiful. Okay. So that's for the podcast. All no, right. that's for the video. The YouTube. We'll be, yeah, will be viewed now. You guys wait. It is so colorful in that area. So, anyway. It sounds lovely. It is. Lee, I thought about taking a picture of it and sending it to you. Well, I'd love to see it. Well, but I think we'll just do it. Um, I'll stay there for our first video. Okay. How soon do you think you're going to be ready, honey? Hopefully pretty soon. I'm hoping. <laughs> keep every, Everybody keep your fingers crossed. Until then. To, I love to ask Lee questions. She goes, oh, pretty soon. <laughs> okay, I know. You want to quit because we have to. Yes. 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 Love you, Lee. Love you, too. We will be back tomorrow, Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. Until then, remember, it's, it's always, always about, about love. love, and we care about and you. Yes. Good night, everyone. Good night.